Yo. It is your Friday sexual Friday podcast. And you know, it is relationships too. And um, um, I was going to say, we've had a lot of experts recently and I have talked a lot um, to a lot of people. And we're actually having an expert on about relationships. Also, yeah. So it's going to be fun to reboot that with one. guy. And we're going we- here, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Thank God. I'm just I'm just downloading, uploading other podcasts for you guys. Mm. Um, you know, we've done a lot of shows. We've gone like we've gone we've gone very far with shows, mm-hmm. and we've talked to a lot of women. Mm-hmm. And obviously, we know the content they want to talk about because they submit the content they want us to talk about, mm-hmm. which is often sex. Mm-hmm. And we really appreciate every time you guys share anything with us. Sometimes you blow our minds with the things you do. And other times we can completely relate. I, so we either uh, um, have so much in common with you or we're inspired by you. Just so you know. So I was talking, I think I said this earlier, but you know, hormones, a lot of you are like, you you need to start talking about the shift in hormones. And I was, I was like, uh, there's so many opinions on how to deal with hormones, mm. whether it um, goes to your libido, whether it is a time in your life, like whatever it is. And and I was thinking, I'm like, there, there's so much fucking information on what to do and what not to do, except people still mm. actually don't know what to do when they're um, – in a place where maybe things are changing and they don't necessarily feel horny. Like mm-hmm. you still don't know what to do if you're like, I, what am, it's one more thing to do if you are shifting in the world of like hormone, whatever it's called, yeah. treatment, treat whatever the thing is. And, and then everyone's it's not free. Say, and then also, don't they say that you have to have estrogen? Yes. <laughs> but then sometimes they say you have to have progesterone, uh, t- testosterone. Yeah, it's a lot, but you don't know what any of them do. And yeah, and to go and have a doctor, a lot of that stuff isn't all covered. It's right? not covered. Most of it's not covered. You have to go like get referred to a specialist. But, I guess like I guess like everything, it's just deal with it. Deal with like back in the day, they just dealt with it. Well, I just I I thought I, I was don't like, remember. Do men have to? Do men never not get a boner? I do think, men. Yes, I think that that's a big like. It seems like I mean I know we obviously talk about men's um sexual sexuality and like there's a fix for them a hundred percent, but seems like there's a lot of talk around um in. Like not being able inco- to get in, in hard. Co- incompetence, but it's not incompetence. And not being able to get hard and it, not being able to come. Well, not incompetence. That's not, why they have Vi- Viagra. What's that called? Not um, incompetence, not flatulence. Sh- don't talk for a second. He has... You know. Yeah, it's when he can't get an erection. Um, it sounds like incompetent. Uh, ooh, do I Google it? Hold on. If he, so it's having a flaccid dick. It is when you are, is he, he takes Viagra because he. Did you say Viagra? No, Viagra because he, that, this word. Oh my gosh. Why are we both having a blank for it? Okay, hold on. He has, it's, like, it's basically saying he has a flaccid dick. He is. is he can't get an erection. He, he takes Viagra for his. What is the word when you can't get a boner? I don't know how to respond to that. What the hell? Siri. Guys, I know you're all sitting there going, I know this word. I know this word. And I feel like it's like the biggest like What's the word? sexual dysfunction for men. Erectile, defunct, dis- erectile, erectile dysfunction. Is that it? Yes. What's the word for yes, it? Erectile dysfunction. That's what it is. Holy shit. That and took actually a funny, one of the sponsors of one of the hockey teams is. No, impotence. It is like incompetent. Impot- he's impotent. Impotent. He's impotent. He's impotent. He's so what's impotent. erectile dysfunction? Same. Oh, okay. But in impotence. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, you're impotent. That is so, so weird. It's so close to incompetent. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not saying they're incompetent because they're imp- impotent. That is very tricky though. It's just a few S-E impotence. in it. Impotence. Yeah. Impotence, incompetent. Yeah. Apparently that's a big thing. That's why Viagra makes so much money, Catherine. Okay. Are they horny and they can't get a yes. bonus? So that's our thing. We aren't, we have to get slippery yeah. apparently to get motivated no you get motivated then you get wet but if you are in the hormonal years and you have a vaginal dryness down there i don't think getting it um artificially wet gets you excited apparently wetting the whistle i think i I think wetting the whistle makes you get in the mood oh that would not be for me 
That's not how it works. Like psychosomatic. No, I have to actually like what, feel horny. But that's what I'm saying. So they feel horny and can't get a boner. Yeah. That, so, well, you know what I'm saying now? Yeah. So y- you have to get horny. Like, whim- whim- hold on. Women. We have the opposite problem. Because we could just use some lube and have sex. That's my point. They can't. If exactly. they can't get a boner, they can't do it. I know. Thank God. That we're not men? Yeah. Oh, I know. Ew. I wouldn't want to be a man anyways. And apparently the boner lasts forever. Yeah, I like know. Like seven hours. I know. Ew. Seven hours. But I guess if like you can't get one then and you need it, because we know people who use it just to last longer. What? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We... Yeah, we 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 don't know a lot of men who talk about their their sex life, but we do know do, some people. Okay, we know. Yeah, yeah, but he can get a boner. He's like to have it for fun for that's longer. That's what I just said. Some people oh, use yeah, it yeah. just to go on forever oh, and ever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a very different genre yeah. of people. I wonder how many people we know who I, are in, using Viagra. I bet, we. I bet we do. We do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Hmm. I bet we do. I bet we do too. I don't know when it starts to happen. I feel like it happens like mo- when when do when do when do most men start to have trouble with getting erections? I would say like it could when start do at fifty. Most men have trouble getting erections. Like I know that maybe some younger people have it, but they have like like issues from the get go. Oh yeah, like you know, there's like, some guys who can't get erections. You know, I don't. They're whatever. But then there's men who get it from age, and I don't know what the average age is that men start to experience erectile dysfunction. You think 60, 50? Um, I'm going to say uh, I think they could get it in their 40s. You think that's when it would start? Yeah. I think I actually know that. Let me Google out, guys. Sorry. I, I do need think to know that, when I it think starts. it's actually... Some, well, then we know lots of people then. I just think that it, that's when it, it's possible. Just like menop- um, perimenopause can start at 35. Oh, my God. So I get a text message from one of my friends, okay? And... um. And she and I are um, like uh, COVID. between 40 and 70. Yeah. We're COVID friends. Sorry. It's estimated that half of all men between 40 and 70 will have it. Half, half, half the people we know ha- have a boner, um, have an, um, not um, impotence of some degree, erectile dysfunction of some degree. But it's yeah, particularly common in older men. E- yeah. ED known as impotence. Yeah. So she saw that you couldn't sleep and she's like she's in perimenopause you mm-hmm. need to you need to tell mm-hmm. her she's in perimenopause she's like, thank you i had 500 messages she goes about it. i wish i had known and she's like i'm through it i wish though i had known that this was a thing because i feel like so many women just think they have to go through this without knowing so what, what it is she is uh she went to had to go to a doctor pay for it and then she had to go and get the blood work and see what she's low in and then get the drugs for the thing. I'm, I'm complicated because although I'm a really good, um, overall, I'm a good sleeper. I fuck with my sleep. You know what I mean? I don't do regular hours. Sometimes I take a <laughs> sleeping pill. Sometimes I take half. Sometimes I take full. Sometimes I take melatonin. You catch me taking a gravel. Sometimes I drink. Sometimes I don't. So it's like the body, it's, I'm not giving it consistency. So my, even my whole life, like so I've had not, nights. You're not believing perimenopause. Yeah, it could be that too. But like I don't, if I was like a person who treated myself like the same, like consistent, more like you, mm-hmm. it, you would really notice if there was like a difference because of something like that. For me, I'm just kind of all over the place, you know? And so it's, and some nights, even my whole life, I'll just, I just won't sleep and I just can't like shut it off. And then the next night I have a beautiful sleep, you know? Right. So it's not like I have, um, you're not, nothing's so- changed. Let's put it that way. You've always yes. had this. Yes. But most nights is beautiful. And I also feel like when I don't have that much sleep, like I don't, I don't dwell. I'm like, okay, so I had two hours sleep. Okay, maybe I'm tired. But like once I get up, it's fine. The, the day will end. Yeah. And there'll be a new day tomorrow. And I always say, if you have a bad night's sleep, chances are the next night it's going to be really good. That is, now, that if is I start beautiful. You do think that by the way. Multiple nights. I mean, if, I, if I get to a point where I'm not sleeping for like multiple days in a row just yeah. for no reason. Yeah. Uh, I have to look into it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because that would be so annoying. Yeah. Oh, how boring. Yeah. Especially when you don't have a guest room. Yeah. Where would you go? Well, 
uh, speaking of relationships, I'm so curious with the, the man expert. I'm going to die that he's going to give us advice. No, but I feel like in the, this is where I was going with perimenopause and all that shit. I feel like what I'm reading and what I'm hearing is, and when I'm, when I'm talking to people, you're, you, it's like PMS. And I, I that's such a ba- bad way to put it on steroids where it's how you used to feel and be able to handle things is no longer how you can actually handle things. So you're just annoyed with the people in your life. You are frustrated. You're an- more anxious. People have heart palpitations. Like there's an article with Oprah who she was feeling like she was, she went to a million heart people. It was fucking perimenopause. And she is with the richest woman in the world. And I was like, if they couldn't figure out back then, that's why she came out and did a whole thing on it with Maria Shriver. And she was like, I thought I was having a heart attack. It was perimenopause. I'm saying all that's going on. And then you're supposed to have a relationship. And then you're supposed to do teens. And then you're supposed to have like, how is your relationship supposed to be normal if you can barely handle your own shit from waking up and you can't sleep? How are you supposed to be like, the most patient, loving, like, I'm here for you. I'm giving you a 10 out of 10 today when I can barely handle myself on a day, on a day to day. I don't know. I mean, I didn't, I don't have that excuse now. And I don't, I don't have that. I didn't have that 10 years ago. So when things change and it's, it can get even worse. I feel like men should read books. They're not going to read books. I know, but I feel like it should be part of the curriculum in school. I know. You should just know that it's not. But if you learn about menopause when you're like 15, you're going to forget it by by the time you're 40. We learn about puberty. Uh, I still don't know shit. Yes, you do. I don't even know how to make babies. Yes, you do. I don't know how it all works. I don't know about the fallopian tubes. Oh, I could. Yes, you do. And a lot of grown men think that the vagina hole and the pee hole are the same thing. Well, they're fucking idiots. Well, that's common. That's that's problematic. I can see how they would think I that. I just think a lot of divorces happen because of perimenopause. I feel like a mm. lot of relationships go to the shits mm. because you are the one who is the consistent and you're the constant and you pick everybody up and you make the date nights and you, you know, and then you, you get to this point where you're like, dude, I can barely fucking handle myself. I can't make another date. You got to figure your shit out. It could be perimenopause or it could just be I'm fucking done. They might go hand in hand. I'm also just kind of, I've been doing this for so long. It's my turn. Bye. Someone said that recently. My turn. Someone said that recently. I saw that. You know, because you you could be patient for so long. And then you're like, wait a second. I don't need you. I can carry on without you. I feel like that might be the start. I'm not or saying. Could it be maturity. That's what I mean. They go hand in hand. You're sort sure. of like, I'm growing up. I'm going to focus on myself because I am dealing with a lot. And if you can't be here for me, then I don't fucking need you. If you, know, you can't be here to help me, then I'm fucking done. Yeah, I don't need you. Like uh, I, I can't take care of you anymore because I'm trying to take care of me. And if that's a problem, I'm done. I think you get closer to like the second half of your life. And you're like, you know, when people say like, I'm here, I only have these amount of days. I'm going to spend them happy. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to change whatever isn't making me happy. Apparently, if you do want to know, just so you all know, if you do want to know if you're in perimenopause and you're confused and you've heard this word and you see all these this shit online and you see all these stories online and you hear all these conversations online, you can go to your doctor and ask for them to do a hormone test and they can see your levels of your hormones and see if you've actually started or where you're at, like just with a blood test. There's not much more you have to do. Like I hear a lot of people are confused by it. They don't know about it. If you are wondering why you might be feeling, because really- Truly, sadly, some people do get anxiety during this time and they're either prescribed the pill or they're prescribed an antidepressant. Mm. And everyone's like, "That this is not the answer. Let's start talking to women about what they can actually do to help themselves out. So I think if you actually go to a, a source, people are beginning to learn about it. And I mean, I feel like it's the only thing people are talking about. It's new though. You can't go, to, not every doctor know. knows it. You can't, some doctors don't know about it. They go and they're like, you're fine. Here you go. They're still prescribing just antidepressants for the people who feel anxious. Mm. So no, not everybody. And they're not taught And that it. does help just so you know. But not if it's a, hormones. You don't, that might numb something, but it might not help you long term. Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to have problems because everywhere we look, they're talking about it. So we're going to end up finding it. If I can't sleep, it's perimenopause. If I, I'm hot, it's menopause. Mm, I I think it's I think it's important for women to be able to have options so they don't feel alone in the process. When if you are confused about why you feel so different, mm. I think it's really nice for people to be able to be like I, I know, have ants nice. because some people do go really off the. When I was at the doctors and they they have like a program for it, they're like, "You'll know." I'm like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "You'll know. You'll it, you can't not know that when you're, it's happening." Just sort of you feel it's like it. 
yeah, she's like, do you have the people who have extreme? They know. They actually, they feel it to a level that. So we'll know. And I think it's people who probably have just like people who couldn't go to school because of their period. Like there was Mm. literally people who who had such bad cramps. They were bedridden for like, what, two days? Mm. Or they were so cramped. Mm -hmm. Thank God I never got that. No, never. Never. I never knew what a cramp felt like for so long. And someone Actually, I still don't. Someone in our DMs was like, my period's so bad, I, I can't go to work yeah. on those days. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, I never had any of that debilitating. And now it's just like a really heavy period. But at the end of the day, like, just had to change my tampon more often. I think some people have to change it like every no, hour. I know. And they have I, to that's get, what I'm saying. I'm not that person. And they have to go get out. Um, I just bleed out <laughs> through my <laughs> jeans and my Natalie, bed. Natalie calls me and she's like, I might die. Like I'm, there is so much blood. I may be dying. You can say goodbye to me. Yeah. Bye. You, you can say bye to me. Say bye. Um. Okay. I don't know if you heard on the radio this morning, but they were talking about, and it really got me into, like I started um, Googling so much more about OnlyFans. And you're so right. Like the kids, they talk about it on the radio. Like, I mean, OnlyFans is just a regular conversation. So if you think your kids don't know what OnlyFans is, no, this is like this. First of all, people are making billion, billions and billions of dollars. Billions and billions. Yeah. Like creators. One making- of the person who's making the most on OnlyFans is Cardi B. Yes, I did know that. And. I did know that. Don't Kim, ask. Kim Kardashian's at Black China. She's one of the biggest like. What does she show? Do you know what she shows? I don't know. But I know that it's just adult content. Um, fitness. And. Fitness. Yeah. Whole fucking shit. It's, these are like the categories. It must be hot fitness. Yeah, there's well, no well, way. You know who who killed it with her? Just literally her fitness classes on OnlyFans. Who? Um, she dates Michael Jordan's son now. Oh, uh, and she was the ex-wife Pippin. of Pippin. Pippin. So Larissa she launched Pippin. her OnlyFans, and she was like one of the most successful people on OnlyFans. And everyone's like, "Oh God, what's she doing?" She literally does workouts. They watch her. It's a fetish. Because mm. no woman. And then the other thing is like food eating sexually no it's a, it says adult content is the first category then fitness and food so you're telling me mm-hmm. if you and i went and got an only fans mm-hmm. we we could do food we could do food because it's just sort of like a patreon it's like it's like a subscription right but so it's, it's called mm. it's only fans so it's for the people who pay for your for your subscription okay um so the question is Are we getting an OnlyFans? Okay. Here's a question. Yeah. Our kids would be like, ooh. They'd be like, oh, sorry, we want to make money. <laughs> and lots of people can do it anonymously and you do not need to show your face. So how do they get people? How do you become how do you get subscribers? Well, a lot of people that do really well on that, like I think promote um, from TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, what's his what's his, Jana? Um the, Tara's world. The boxers, the boxers ex girlfriend. Tana. Okay. Did I say Jana? Yeah. Tana. She does really well over there too. I mean, because that- if you come over with uh, a big audience, it's like anything, right? The it- one girl on TikTok who does not do mm. sexy TikToks. Mm-hmm. She was cruises. Mm-hmm. She's like, I make my money on. They have, they can't say OnlyFans on the other networks, which is so weird because you can say Snapchat. You can. That's what makes me think. If you had a cookie, if you have an OnlyFans, did you just say cookie? Cooking. I thought you said if you had a cookie. Kiki. If you had a cooking video and you couldn't say OnlyFans on TikTok, you'd get banned. Right. So it's weird that they have cooking videos. I'm thinking they're cooking naked. I'm well, going to have to. How much is her her channel? Who? The cooking woman. Which cooking woman? The one you said, um, she would, oh, we don't know. You don't know any famous cooking No, people. I mean, I just The started, workout one. I wonder how much the workout one is. Like how, how much it costs? Yeah. And what is she I'm wearing? I'm going to do some more because... Um, because I just started off and I was seeing how much people can make. And they're like, well, you have to start off with having a thousand subscribers. And then you can make one to $500 a month. And then you can just And how go. are you getting subscribed? What are you doing? I to- guess you have to br- lure them over from social media. I, the thing is, is that I feel, hmm, I wonder how we, how many subscribers we could get. What the fuck are we doing? Well, because all of them are women we have. It would be so funny if our OnlyFans went really big and it was literally this. Yeah. You can't listen to our we podcast. We have to do it naked. <laughs> no, but women wouldn't want to see that. Our audience is women. Like, exactly. what could we do? Exactly. Yeah. What would we do over that? And then we have all these like mom subscribers to OnlyFans, and everyone's like, "You're on OnlyFans." It's like it's just watching Cat and Just you know, we do have a private Apple podcast with no ads, which is almost the exact same thing. And you get to see. No, there's no video though, but it is. But we could do video there. Yeah. Well, we could also we do have an OnlyFans page for toes. 
Yeah, we should. We have two we, photos. We should have. work on that. Okay. I mean, I don't have the toes you have. Oh, people like all kinds of toes, cat. All kinds. Cosplay is big. Oh, over there. I'm big. I, cosplay. I have no patience to dress the fuck up. What is that? Cosmic play? Co- com- comic play? Cosmic. cosmic play. Now, here's the question. How much do you charge? I don't even no. know. Oh. If the world only fans was trying to really like get into you and they offered you a million dollars to do a video. On what? It has to be something kind of sexy. What am I doing? You are rolling around on your bed. Yeah. Like a fluffy bed with fur. Naked. No. Not a million. I mean like two. They're just giving to me for free. Like they're going to pay you for it and just give it to people. Yeah. Just pay you for that video. It'll be there forever and you can never delete it. No. Five. I mean, no. Ten. Sure. Ten. Seven. No. Eight. Nope. Nine. Ten million. I think your your kids would disown you. What what is it worth to disown? Ten million dollars. I just want you to know that like someone like um, I just watched Jennifer Lawrence butt naked in a movie. I know. It's very different than when you're a mom. Sex scenes. It's when you're She's a, a mom. Yeah, but she's an actor. We would be acting. Mm, you're you're telling me you would what would your kids do if you went and got an OnlyFans and mm. rolled around naked on a bed mm. and had to do a spread eagle into the camera? Now you added that, didn't you? <laughs> I did. One uh, spread no one's, eagle? No one's spending a million bucks to watch you roll around on a bed. So you have to spread eagle. Okay. And your kids, it goes to everybody. Goes in the school newsletter. You don't care. Goes in the school newsletter. What kind of <laughs> perverts are adding my OnlyFans to the newsletter? <gasps> the perverts that listen to this podcast. On the newsletter. <laughs> that the, school should be fired. The kids' friends that listen to this podcast. Honestly, Catherine. Yes, Natalie. Lay it on me, babe. I guess I'd have to have a conversation with the family. <laughs> <laughs> so let's sit down quickly and just debrief here. Family, I'm thinking of doing OnlyFans. I have to spread eagle um, and everyone can see my inner parts. How do you feel about that? But I guess a gynecologist sees that. So really potato, potato. Yeah. And I would just be like, um, if our lives can change like this for this amount of money, do you guys want to? And if do you anybody, care if I spread eagle? And if anybody doesn't want to, they can leave the family. Say I. <laughs> They could just leave the family because we're say, just going to go off and be rich without you. Say, I raise your hand and you're not okay with me. Spread. I mean, lots of people do it and have kids. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, obviously, it would be public, obviously. And even though you have to subscribe to see the video, anybody could just video the video. Oh, my God. Also, just even, um, it's a brand. It, the thing is, if you've never done it and then all of a sudden you go and do it, it's very jarring. It's if you've done it forever and you've worn lingerie. I think a lot of them. Got to start somewhere. We actually know a lot of people with OnlyFans. Oh, God, those, those guys should do it. All the dancers should go do it. They might. Right. <laughs> Our old ones don't. Right. They never did it. It was like, they're like the, they're like old school strippers. Maybe they do now. I mean, we what's should, the difference, we should, right? I, I, I don't, you, you're so, you just get rich a bigger platform, but you, I, just have to, you have to work hard to get your OnlyFans. You have to update. You have to upload. You, you have, have to, to. You have to answer a lot of DMs. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's one of the big things. They're like, how do you grow? You got to like answer. You got to converse. Have like. Ew. Not like. Per, per, like. Oh, yeah, you do. You're telling me that they're. Hey, how's the day going? No, I bet you have to naughty talk. I really think we should set up an alias. Only fans. Just yeah. as an experiment. How many experiments do I want to do? I want to take horny CBD. I want to get, go get, get an anonymous OnlyFans page. I want to. So beginners uh, only make 150 to 180. Right. That is so annoying. <laughs> beginners. Beginners. 150 How bucks? are we going to go get either a whole bunch of like gay women or men? How are we going to lure them? Yeah. You think gay women like us? I think so. Why wouldn't they like us? What? We're a bunch of babes. I don't think we're sexy. Like, I don't think we, you have to act sexy. Unless they like, you know what? We could do, um, we could do, like, okay, just sit here with me for a minute. We could be like their moms. You're Clean tell- your room. You're telling me that you could actually, with me, mm-hmm. go and do sexy videos. Like, maybe the fetish is we'll be their moms and tell them what to do. You you think you were just going to be like, go get In me. In these clothes. Go get me your food. How much is the average OnlyFans? Like to subscribe? Yeah. I actually have no idea. I guess it depends. Did we chart? Did we put a price on ours? 
So one day we're in Miami and I'm reading about this girl. Okay. And no. So first of all, we're backstage. This is kind of a secret story. And one of our teammates um, um, gets a request, request for toes. And toes pick. never met them. And this guy just wants like, like he's like, I'll send you 50 bucks yeah. for toes. Yeah. And then Venmo. I'm Boom. like, I go get the money first and then send them. Mm-hmm. Like I've done this before. So she does it. And I'm like, what? Yep. And then I'm like, ask if he wants another set of toes. They're really long. And he's like, yeah. He pays up. And then we send a picture of my toes. So fucking weird. Okay. And I'm like, that's all he wants. He just wants to see your toes. Like that's it. He just wants to see your toes. And she's like, yep. Just wants to see toes. Not even your face. Okay. Just toes. So then we're reading an article about OnlyFans and how She's making like $150,000 a month. Now it's like 500000 Right. She makes so much money a month for OnlyFans. Okay, now granted, she puts in a lot of effort. Like rents a hotel room, videotapes the whole thing, brings outfits. What does she bring show? Pro- what does she videotape? Herself. N- like um, sex. Like, like with toys. masturbating and, okay. and like making noises okay. and like crazy things. Mm-hmm. And she was. How often does she have to do it? I mean, I think she was once a month to a hotel okay. and like banks a bunch of content. And then I don't know how much she released. I guess that depends on how much people are willing to pay you to okay. see you. It blows my mind that mm-hmm. people do this because they yeah. must have a a relationship with you mm. in order to pay for you mm-hmm. to go do that. Because you can find a lot on the internet for free. Mm-hmm. So that's why OnlyFans confuses me. That mm-hmm. it must be, there's yes. something about the psyche of paying for it. Well, I, w- I was watching one of my like law and orders last night yeah. and they basically, they had fallen for the look of this young girl and she played soccer and whatever. Ugh. And they end up in, in basically replicating and making dolls of her down to like the same, like this isn't real beaded bracelet. I Law and orders are all, I think usually like when the Toronto one, I'm watching the Toronto law and order. It's all based in like our city on stories loosely oh. around like one was on Doug Ford. You knew it was like, it was the <sighs> the, mayor. the mayor who did crack or whatever kind of drugs he did. So they're all based on something. So they find this warehouse, but well, the girl gets taken and then they find okay. a warehouse and they open up these dolls and they look exactly like her Ew. down to the little beaded friendship bracelet. And she's on OnlyFans? Okay. No, sorry. She's not on OnlyFans. Oh. But I'm saying these men, they felt like uh, who had ever like so put she her had, up on the internet. Like her mom or whatever. Well, not her mom. Oh, okay. Didn't do that. Okay. Well, some moms do. Okay, right. And this kid's parents had no idea what was going on. Um, and actually, I didn't finish it. So I don't know how she ended up, like if she was really involved and I didn't find when she got Like if found. she was doing it. Yeah. It wasn't her doing it for sure. But I don't know if she, her face had been on the internet. She'd put a picture because her parents didn't let her have social media. Okay. That's another thing, guys. Be careful what you ask your children not to do because when you tell them not to do something, you're going to want to do it more. I wonder how you... You have to do ID for OnlyFans too, I feel like. Don't you have to l- upload your ID or so something? So she didn't have OnlyFans. But yeah, they were making these dolls of her and one of the guys just wanted to see her in person because he'd fallen in love with the character that they would put online and he paid someone $8,000 to basically go kidnap her and then he changed his mind. But the doll was a replica of her and he felt so in love with her, even though he'd never met her. So that's what OnlyFans is. Yeah, the relationship. Because you have to have a relationship in order to pay to go see them. Yeah. Oh. And enough people are paying. A lot of people are paying. I mean, there's what? this whole world that like you and I don't understand that so many people are involved in. I I totally agree. Uh, and I so I, that's what I get confused is the psyche behind it. Like, why are you paying? There must be, it has to be like, I've got we to, need someone who's openly oh, on Can we get her on our podcast? Probably. But I, yeah. We I'd love could. to ask her. Yeah. We probably could. We should. Yeah. That would be really interesting, guys. So we can find out the behind the scenes and everything. She makes I so much see money. What the She's average. young. How old is she? Like 23? Yeah. And she has a boyfriend. How to make. And her both- parents know. How to make $10,000 a month on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. To earn $10,000 a month on OnlyFans, you must mm-hmm. leverage monetization tools such as subscriptions, mm-hmm. PPVs, that must be personal, private, something, videos. and tips, videos. Yep. So it feature. What pe- does Black China do on OnlyFans? Who is the high? Let me, okay. Um, what, uh, how? much the top 25 only make bella thorne's number one yeah with 11 million a month cardi b is 9.5 million uh what a month no then it says a year i'm gonna tell you guys okay 
Bella Thorne monthly earnings eleven million. So we heard this, and now it's like, well, let's fucking do our toe account. Yeah, I'm like, all right, you do your toes. I don't have pretty toes, so we did Nat's toes. No, my toes aren't there, are they? Sir, first of all, I do not have pretty <gasps> toes. Yes, you do. No. Oh my god, no! Oh, we thought I have we, horrific toes. We thought we would do toes like she could. Ho- oh, you were holding something with your toes, but like it's pe- like a hand. But people like all different kinds. Cardi B's nine point five a month. Um, Iggy Azalea. She's the Australian rapper. Yeah, but she hasn't done much okay, lately. Okay, so she fee she, her fee is four ninety nine a month. How much does she make? Uh Cardi, sorry, Cardi B's subscription is free. I'm very, com- guys, I'm very, very confused how I'm going to, Reddit and OnlyFans, this is my new, like, what the hell? Mia Khalifa, 6.5 million. Um, she's a porn model. Okay, that makes more sense. She has over 2 million, 22 million OnlyFans subscribers. 22 million. So in 2021, Black China made 240 million. Okay, uh, and just so you know, that is a quarter of a billion dollars. And she's, that's how she became famous from OnlyFans. Stripper turned reality star. And she's, but she deacted her, her, her account because now she's just so rich. So all of these top earners, no, New York Post, no one is not naked on the top 25. Okay, what about Lala? Maybe she's off. Sorry, now. Denise Richards uh, makes $2 million a month. What does she do, Catherine? Ex, um, cu- she makes custom content and PPVs. Look up PPVs on OnlyFans. Don't you feel like we're opening your eyes to a whole new Please. world? And why are we such losers? We don't know. Pay per view. So she makes pay per view. So she makes sex videos. Who again? Denise Richards. Denise really does that. I mean, I guess so. Pay per view. Uh, Megan Barton Hansen is among the most. Famous, explicit models on OnlyFans. Megan is also famous for her Fetish Fridays, Strip Saturdays, and Titty Tuesdays. Lala taunts Denise Richards over $7 OnlyFans subscription. She made Don't Come At Me when you're only $7 on... Whoa. Yeah, anyways, so... um, That's a lot of... um. That's a lot of money they're making. I can't believe Denise Richards does that. I mean, that's where she started. So why not? That's where you finish. And maybe she does like only sexy videos. Oh, wasn't Lala like that's got to be like a that's got to be like a um, what you call that has to be like an, an a throwback. Do you know what I mean? Like they're like, oh, remember when? Like it's like her old school people who like love Friends, and then they would go and join OnlyFans for Friends. This is right. Um, Lar- Larsa Pippen makes ten thousand dollars a day. So not that much compared to other people. What's 10,000 times 30? Uh, 300,000. 300, a month. Where everyone else is making like, I mean the top are making like 11 million a month. Uh, yeah, yeah. A month. Because she does, because I think she does workout videos. Oh, I, I, there's got, I gotta, I gotta see an, uh Oh, she's tired of her OnlyFans account. Larsa. I'm wondering who pays for it. How, what it comes across as your um, fee. Like what's your fee? And it's so crazy. There's 22 million people that will watch sex but won't sign up for parenting content <laughs> to make them a better parent. Maybe we should start sex classes. That is so fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's so fucked up. The only question is, yeah, I guess men. But I'm saying like, do are women are women just not subscribing to Oh, any yeah, of there's it? no top men. It's all top women. Because nobody wants to watch a big old dinky rolling around. I think people do. Then why don't they do it? They're probably smarter than to pay for it. They know they can get it for free <laughs> on the internet. It's mom's budgeting. They just have to go to the local well, you bar. fucking idiots. It is free on Google. Just Google big dick and it will come up. It'd be really hard for a lot of young girls right now to not be tempted. Oh, uh, for sure. I don't know how I would feel if Mark was paying a subscription for OnlyFans per month. I'm like, really? Huh. Yeah. Like 30 bucks a month. Really? 30 bucks? To the same person too. Yeah. Because I don't think there's like a collective where you subscribe and then you get like 10 girls. Genius. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> there is. That I don't know how I'd feel. Like that's weird. Yeah. It would feel weird. I you know. Yeah. If you, if someone subscribed to a person. A person. The one then, person. Because that means you're 
getting all of their one content. And you can talk to them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, they're using you, you idiot. Mm-hmm. Like they're just taking your money. Mm-hmm. It's like those guys who like keep going back to the strip club because they think the girl might like fall for them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, he doesn't as far as I know. No, no. But I, I'm not sure what that would feel like to be like that one girl. And then you're like, you can see her online. Okay. I don't think so. I don't like that. You don't like that either. No, I don't like that. But we can have an account. Yes. For toes. Yes. What's mm. another body fetish that people like? I know people Fingers. Like- Fingers. Yes. But toes are huge. I don't know why. I don't either. I don't know why toes are huge. So we're in Miami and then we read this article and then it's like, we should make more money. We need to make more money. Let's try toes. They'll never know who we are. But then we didn't know how to really get subscribers over there. Actually, you need to do ID and we never did the ID. We just stopped. No, I did. We have the page. <laughs> but I, it's probably de- deactivated. I Shall I check? Yeah. Let's see. I've got to own there, And the thing, there's only one picture of your toes in the sky. <sighs> Literally in the sky. Like it's one picture of your toes. That would have to be a viral picture of your toes. Log in. Does it remember your face? Mm-hmm. We are so over the 30 minutes. You got to go. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we are. We've got a description. And how much, how much is it a month? Oh, we just got a notification <laughs> what um, from the, someone signed into our OnlyFans account. Okay, yeah. Uh, go to, not to. Uh, oh, I, okay. So yeah, we're good. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got approved. Oh, I'll create a new post. Uh, this is a year old, by the way. Mm-hmm. This is a year, this is more than a year old. I want to go home. Oh, here's our main page. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, we don't have any fans. <laughs> so I don't think we're live. Mm, my profile. I don't think we're live. I don't uh, think we finished setting up. I think we got distracted. You know what our you guys want to know what our description says? Imagine our toes, wherever you are, and wherever your mind can take you. Our photos will take you there. <laughs> it's really good. It's yeah, very poetic. It's beautiful. Um, there are no posts and there's no media. Okay, so we yeah, so we just own the toes of nobody. Uh, I yeah, nothing. Would you like, like should I t- share the link to all of our socials? We never said anything. That's um, what I was saying. We didn't do anything. Edit profile. Uh, where's my... Uh, okay, subscription prices and bundles. We never did that. We never finished right it. Right now we're on... Um, we have to add bank payment. We never added our banking. That's We, we got to reach out to the accountants for that one. <laughs> Guys, to be... Um, that could be our retirement. To be or not to be. Yeah, th- that could be our retirement. Like you and I on a beach... Taking pictures of toes and making money. Making bank. Making bank. I don't know how many toes you have to do. I feel like you have to do it regularly. And well, then you have to talk have to, to people. Like toes And then you probably have to put like your puppets, your toes on puppets. No, no. You got to keep it sexy. But you're little, talking to them. Little lace, little lace toe. We do not have time for this. But when we're old and we're just sitting on the beach. Oh, old toes. Old toes. People. Old toes in the beach. Old toes. Old toes. Get toenail extensions. Ew. Jewels what, what, on our toes. What, whatever they want. Bye, y'all. Whatever.